Hey everyone, my name is Sabrina and today I'm going to take you with me thrifting in Budapest, Hungary. So this is today's outfit. And that sweater, the belt is uh, thrifted. And my jeans are from H&M. The jacket is from my boyfriend's mom. And then this long trim bag I've had for eight years. Okay guys, so let's head downtown to our first stop, which is Ludovica. It's a vintage curated shop, so they have hand-selected pieces here that are vintage, and you can see they have quite a selection of goods. They have beautiful pieces, really, that range from a lot of different time frames, and it's a really nicely decorated shop, so it's a place that you really want to stay in and look around for a while. As it is a curated selection, the price range is a little bit more expensive than what I would normally pay thrifting in Budapest. I would say the price range is around 4,000 Hungarian forints to 10,000 forints. Uh, that's roughly like 10 to 25 dollars, US dollars. There were a few other pieces in the shop that were more expensive like jackets and leather blazers. Uh, but other than that, I think mostly everything falls into that price range. I started off by looking at their beautiful selection of shirts. I'm not really a huge fan of how colored shirts look and fit on me, so I won't be selecting any today, but they really did have some beautiful ones like this pink one. The, the pleating on it is absolutely gorgeous. I think that these would be really lovely layered under like sweaters and vests and stuff like that, so I really wish that they would fit me better, but I feel like in my shoulders I have like really not really large shoulders, but just like my build. I don't know, I never felt comfortable wearing this type of shirt that much. And this one on the end is super cute, but I don't know, kind of grandma vibes. And then I went to look at the blazers. Again, I'm not really a blazer person, but I could be convinced if there was a really cute one. I am looking for like a blue colored one, so this one caught my eye, but not exactly the shade that I was going for, so I had to put it back. Then I went to look at the dresses. I love a good dress. This one has really beautiful buttons and a floral print, so I did really think it was cute. Not really for winter, but hey, uh, we take what we can get. I really love this piece. I love the embroidery and the pockets, but not really sure it's something I would wear, so I passed on it. This yellow piece caught my eye, but I wasn't too sure about it. But this next uh, floral dress, I love myself a good floral, so I was thinking about it, but it is a little bit big, but I decided to take it anyway to try it on because I feel like with thrifting you never know what's actually going to fit you. I find I never look at the tag because sizes can really vary, especially if you're trying on vintage pieces, so just give it a shot if you're interested. I thought this white dress was so pretty, the different material, but I'm not really into wearing white dresses. And this printed dress was also kind of something that caught my eye. This blue dress caught my eye at first. As I said, love a good floral. The cut is really beautiful. It has pockets, which I love, but... It did have a bit of a stain on the front and I wouldn't buy something that has a stain that I'm not sure if I can get out or not, so I had to pass on it. Also really love this pink floral dress. Maybe you recognize a bit of a theme here, but I do love a good floral.
This one also caught my eye. The material was really thick, so I wasn't sure if I would like that, but I love the cut and the pink. As you can see, they had a lot of shoes, but I'm not really a shoe person, so I didn't find anything I loved. And they had this amazing pair of Levi's, but of course it wasn't in my size. I feel like Levi's never fit me the right way anyway. Now I'm starting to have a look through the sweaters, and if you watch my channel, then you would know that I hand knit my own sweaters and other knitted accessories, so I'm not typically one to buy any kind of knitted sweater for myself. I would rather just make it, but I love looking through everything in the thrift store, so I had to take a look through the sweaters as well. Even though I do knit my own sweaters, I love to look through the thrift for inspiration. Like this gorgeous blue sweater with the flowers, how cute is that? I kind of regret not getting that one because it is really adorable. But uh, I like to think that maybe I can recreate something similar in the future. I love this striped one. And I thought this one with the skiing was really cute. It was also from J. Crew, so that's cool. You don't see so many J. Crew things in Europe, I feel like. Now let's go through the cardigans a bit. They had some really lovely cardigans, like this one with these flowers. Love that for Christmas time. It was so cute. And I love the colors in this, the pink and the red and the white together. It's such a big inspiration. As well as this one, this pretty pink color with the cables running down the sleeve. I mean, it doesn't get cuter. And the little collar too was adorable. And the texture on this one I really loved as well. This one has to be my favorite sweater or cardigan that I've seen there. The baubles, the seed stitch on the sleeves and on the side, and the baubles running down the sleeve as well. It is so cute. I'm definitely going to recreate that one in my own style. The windmills on this were also super adorable. I found that they had like a really good selection of cardigans. It is sweater weather so that's great news because we're in the season for it and they had a lot of denim which I'm not really looking for right now so I kind of just skimmed past that and here at the end they had some more dresses I love the animal kingdom print on this one not really my style but I love the little tigers or whatever they were on that another floral of course that caught my eye but I have enough floral stuff now to try on I also love this floral one, but not really my color, I think. And also, like I said, these kind of fitted collars and shirts don't really work on me. And it had a hole in it, so that's a definite no-go. And speaking of that hole I showed you in the last dress, I did find that a lot of pieces had holes in the shop. Uh, or stains so that's something to watch out for when you are thrift shopping because you don't want to bring home something that you can't fix now let's move on to the try on haul part of this the first pink dress loved it uh, this black one didn't really fit me as well as I wanted it to this uh, floral skirt I absolutely loved it it's unlike anything else that I own and it's so comfortable the plaid skirt is cute, but it did not fit me at all, so unfortunately it's a no. And as well as this skirt, it wasn't really my style, so I had to say no to it as well. And this button-down dress is so cute. I was in love with it. Paired over jeans and a tank top, it also worked really well, like open. 
Uh, this top didn't really work for me. Actually, it's a dress, but the buttons were so cute, but just too small at the bust. And this dress as well. Mm, the color just didn't really suit me, and the cut is nothing special. This dress also, it was kind of cute, but I wouldn't really say it's my style. And this top, I wasn't so sure about, but I think it's not really working for me. The skirt was kind of cute now that I think about it. Kind of regretting not getting that one. But this is the top again with jeans, and I'm just not sure. It's kind of grandma, you know? This was a really cool cape, but somehow the proportions of the cape just didn't fit me very well, but I love the colors and matched my sweater so well. And this is my little haul that I got. So the next place we're going to is a chain uh, thrift shop, secondhand shop here in Budapest. It's called Cream. I'm pretty sure they source all of their clothes from the UK, but I find that these shops are kind of more fast fashion brands, lower quality, but you can definitely still find some really nice pieces there, but you have to do a lot more digging because it's not a curated collection. It's a little bit of everything, but look at these two cardigans I found. I think they're really cute and this sweater as well. So you definitely can find some really nice stuff. The prices are moderate, I would say. They're not cheap, but they're not as expensive as the Ludovica. But I would say between 2,000 to 4,000, you can find the pieces. Maybe from a little bit cheaper, like 1,000 to 4,000. And you can see that they have quite a big selection. This was the shop, the cream shop um, at Astoria. And they had this really sparkly section for New Year's. This red sparkly one caught my eye. But I'm not really wearing sparkles so much these days, so I didn't really find anything that I loved. So the first top that I tried on was this orange one. I loved the detailing, but the material, material wasn't really the best one for me. The same with this dress, it had that ruffle detail at the neck and on the sleeves. The material was really soft, but the quality just wasn't there for me, and I don't think I would wear it. This dress, actually, I really loved it. I loved how it fit. It was a little bit more bodycon than what I wear, but I think the colors of the stripes just weren't really colors that I loved. And then there was this dress. Uh, it was from Pull and Bear. It was like a corduroy material, but it was just too, too short for me and not very flattering, so I had to pass it up. And then I stopped at Humana, but I never find anything in Humana in Astoria or anywhere. And it's always super dirty. And then we got a Starbucks with my boyfriend and he drove me home. And that's the end of the thrift day.